two, one, action. Hi everyone, welcome back to Cav Reads, the place where we read books and most importantly guys, we have fun. That's what it's about at the end of the day. So before we get into the proceedings of today's video, I just want to give a little thank you to everybody who watched the video, who liked, who subscribed um, on the last video obviously because that day everyone was super nice to me. I was getting loads of messages, lots of love, which as a person who loves attention, it was it was pretty nice. You know, I liked it. So yeah, I really appreciate that. Without getting, I don't think that was too, I was about to say, without getting too cringe, but I don't think that was too cringe. Without holding you guys on the little tether any longer, today's book is The Once and Future King by T.H. White. Spoiler alert for the rest of the video. I hated it, I hated it so much. Cards on the table, I read 107 pages of this book and each of them felt like I was being stabbed in the eye with a needle because this just wasn't fun. None, none of it was fun. I think I've really realized what I've what I've set myself out on now, if I didn't say that earlier, which I'm pretty sure I did. I've done like nine takes already. God, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to drink to get through this video. And again, cards on the table. I did about five takes with the beer already, so it's about half empty. <laughs> so, you're asking, oh, but Cav, how, how, how can you hate this book if you've only read 106 pages of it? Well, I read the Spark Notes too, so who's the real winner? This book was written in 1958 and is a modern day retelling of King Arthur's story, right from when he becomes king to, I assume his death. I don't know. I didn't read it. I don't care. Um, God, I hate this book. I think my main problem with this book is that I probably read it about 50 years too late. Now, when did it come out? That's bad maths. No. 6, 19, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20. I think my main problem with this book is that I probably read it about 60 years too late. I really like fantasy stuff. This isn't me just, like, I'm not just saying this isn't my kind of thing. I really like Game of Thrones. I like fantasy. I like things being fantastical. If that's, if that, is that where that comes from? I don't know. Um, I really like that kind of stuff. This isn't just me hating on a genre. Um, although I don't do horror, as I did say last video. I, I, I just, I won't do it. I don't care. Um, I'm really into Game of Thrones and stuff like that. But I think the problem here is that whereas this is Game of Thrones is like f fantasy trope breaking, like the good characters always die, bad characters always do kind of all right. And the people in the middle, they're the people who just kind of get by. You know what I mean? Um, except season eight. Season eight was a fucking, was a, was a train wreck. But we'll, you know, we're not here to get into that. Don't worry about it, guys. It's not good. Watch the first four seasons and leave it there. Um, so Game of Thrones, if I'm, I'm, and yeah, I'm not even saying Game of Thrones is like a direct comparison to this. Game of Thrones is about as close as I can get to something that I have a frame reference to. Game of Thrones is trope breaking. This book, this book, I hate it. Um, think of it as the thing that like sets the tropes and being someone in 2021 reading this book it's nothing that i haven't seen or i am sh i'm sure that anyone else who's interacted with any sort of television or film in the past like 20 years we have like this is all stuff we've seen before and that's my main problem with it like i knew where this book was gonna go when i started reading it and i was you know i think part of part of a journey with the book is 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 not knowing now how it's going to end. Like I I know I know that the guy's dead. I I don't care. That's my main problem with it, Arthi. You're dead. You're dead. I hate you. Before we get into the rest of the video, we're just gonna have a quick word from our sponsor. <clears throat> nah, not today. We here at Not Going To Work Today believe sometimes you deserve a little time for yourself. Have a good day and go back to bed.
A big thank you to them for sponsoring the video. We wouldn't be able to do all of this magical stuff without you. So that's, you know, really appreciate all, all, the, all the work you guys are doing there. I was talking to one of my friends about this book and this was like two days ago. And I was like, I'm going to make the fact that I haven't finished this book a, th a thing in the video. Like I'm going to, I'm going to tell people because I, I, I don't want to lie to anyone. That's, that's really not the purpose of, of, of all this. And he was like, some books just don't get good until after a couple hundred pages. And my response to that is, shouldn't all books just be good from the get go? You know what I mean? It's like, if I watch a film in, 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 in 10 minutes, I am not like immediately grasped by what is happening. That's it, I'm out, you've lost me. You've lost a faithful view. And I'm, I'm really, I really enjoy films. You know what I mean? But the, just make the first 10 minutes interesting. If you compare that to this, this was never interesting. I, uh, the main character is obviously King Arthur. He's, there's like three mini books in here. There's like three short stories, although all of them are terrible. Um, not that I've read two. <laughs> the main character is called The Wart. I literally didn't know The Wart would become King Arthur. I was reading this book like, who's this kid? Why, why is he so relevant? God, I hate this book. I don't just want to shit on this book because looking on the extensive research that I did on the Wikipedia page, you know, apparently this book is like really influential in the fantasy genre and that's cool. I think it's written well, like I didn't, I didn't struggle reading any of it, but the font is tiny. Look at that. How am I supposed, how is anyone supposed, to, wow, that, that's just not readable. God, there's so many words. I think on the readability you know, criteria that I've set out for myself. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 because it, it, it all makes sense. I was reading it and I was like, hmm, yes, this, this is a thing that happened. I understand, you know, I wasn't reading it and thinking what's happening. The Hungry Caterpillar is so much better. Do not waste your money or your time with this book. No disrespect to T.H. White, the man is dead. He can't defend himself. But if he was here, I feel like he'd owe me an apology. And with that said, I wanna thank you all for watching this. Like and subscribe, wherever that is. I don't want to be that guy, but I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a new channel starting out. Don't don't hate the player, hate the game. Hi everyone, just a quick couple housekeeping things that I forgot to say whilst I was actually filming the video, so I just thought, I'll do it now. Um, I forgot to give the book an actual rating. For the same reason I didn't want to give The Hungry Caterpillar a 10 out of 10, you know, I didn't want to put, um, I didn't want to put a ceiling on the house a bit too early. I'm not going to give this a zero out of 10. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10, because I feel if I give it a 0, who knows, things could get worse and I don't want to be handing out minus numbers, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not that sort of guy. And um, if any of you are interested in MMA or boxing or any of that kind of stuff, my mate Ewan has a really good podcast called the Left Hook Larry Podcast, um, he does it with his friend, whose name I forgot, um, so I'm going to put the link in the description, and if that sounds like your thing, check it out. So yeah. Thank you for watching, um, Ken, in a bit.